Hello, hello, hello! Welcome! It is Saturday and we are here ready to go. I don't see myself up here. Hold on a second while I get my technology. There we are. And uh, we are ready to go here. How is everyone? Happy, beautiful Saturday. Oh, there's my sister. Hello, sister. And Jill Allen, you're my number one fan and viewer. Thank you for watching. We are today going to, hey Dan, how are you? Welcome. Today we're going to be making two things. We are making, um, this is the end of our Easter weeks, Easter sides week. So we have made all the side dishes for Easter dinner tomorrow. And today we are going to make appetizer and dessert. Yum! So the first thing, we're going to make the dessert first and then I'll move on to the appetizer. We are going to make Easter pie. It's called Easter pie. So it is with phyllo dough, which I have here. I wanted to show you guys how it comes. So phyllo dough comes in a box like this um, in your freezer section at the market. Um, pretty easy to find. So you can find the phyllo dough. You have to let it thaw in the refrigerator overnight. So I put it in the fridge yesterday. And then when you pull it out, it comes out in these little sheets if you've never worked with phyllo dough. It's really, really thin wheat layers of um, dough here. So I just want to show you guys how it comes. Now I'm going to lay it here on this cookie sheet and cover it with a damp towel because it dries out very quickly. So you need to be working with it with a damp towel. So I have that here and I'm going to spread it over our phyllo dough while we get going here with our filling. So first we're going to do our filling. So in the filling here, you see the box. We are going to start now in the Cuisinart here. I already have um, a, the zest of an orange. I already zested it. You guys have watched me all week zest citrus, but I use my favorite little micro blade here and zest the oranges in there. And then we're going to add, oh, my main ingredient I didn't get out. You get the top shelf, the ricotta cheese, um, almost there. We're going to do the ricotta cheese, three eggs. So I'll get started on the eggs here. Uh, the plastic container it's that's it there we go thank you assistant ricotta cheese and i'm going to do the eggs here real quick so let's crack these three eggs go in the bowl here and i'm actually using the uh whipping blade that you know comes with this this cuisine is so old it's probably the original uh, uh the original edition it's the one my mom had originally but i actually got this from a client um, who it was his mom's and he didn't need it he gave it to me I was so excited so that's how I got this Cuisinart it was from a client and so anyway we got the three eggs this is a 15 ounce package of whole milk ricotta cheese hey Charlie oh my gosh it's so exciting I have three men on here woohoo rocking it men there's Julie hey Julie how are you oh shoot try to get the ricotta cheese open would be helpful Try and get everything set and ready. There's always something I seem to forget to get out. Today's the ricotta, but we're getting it out here. We're making Easter pie. I know, gadgets. So I'm going to dump this in here, hopefully without getting it in, in the mess, in the middle here. Ricotta cheese in. With the three eggs and the zest of an orange and a... Uh, here, my sister, another little mini gadget to get the ricotta cheese out of the container. Yum, this is a very traditional Italian dish and they make um, Easter pie. This is, uh, I got this recipe idea from Giada De Laurentiis. I thought it looked really cool and fun. And besides the name of it is Easter pie. So we have to make that for uh, Easter. So there we go, ricotta is in, ricotta, three eggs, the zest of an orange, and then we have three quarters of a cup here. Uh, hey Susan, we're making Easter pie. Uh, three quarters of a cup of powdered sugar, get that in. And then I am actually, the recipe calls for pine nuts. Number one, I'm not a pine nut lover. Said so number two, I don't have any. <laughs> So we are going to be using slivered almonds to today as our nut here, here at Instagram. 
Um, so I am going to use a teaspoon of vanilla and a teaspoon of almond extract with our almonds to flavor this. So we will go a teaspoon of vanilla here and then we'll do a teaspoon of almond, maybe a very light teaspoon because the almond is very strong taste. Another idea, when I told my sister what I was going to make today, she with the orange zest, she said we well, could put Cointreau in, which is also another great thing to put a little Cointreau, which is orange liqueur, in there would be delicious too. Uh, but I've decided on the almond and the vanilla, and I'm going to put just a pinch of salt, just for a pinch. And then we are going to blend this up. Hold on. Woo! I think Instagram can even see the Cuisinart today. Hi Instagram, how are you guys today? So we're going to let that get all blended with the whipper blade there. Yeah, I thought so. It looks cool. I thought it looked yummy. Something new and different and fun. Again, trying to pick things that you might um, be have fun doing with your kids because you guys that have been home with little kids for three weeks, bless you. Um, <laughs> but this would be fun. So I'm gonna pull out one sheet of phyllo dough here. I have my box is open for you guys that just joined and I have it under a damp towel here. So I'm gonna get a sheet here, very thin. I've already greased my pie pan here. I'm gonna put the towel back. Of course I need another set of hands to do this on live, but here we go. We're gonna put the sheet in, see how thin it is? Let's see, can you see me? We're gonna put it in there and then of course, when you work with phyllo dough, what does that mean? It means butter! Yes! So I've got my butter here. I'll move it over a little bit. I put the wood board up here to try and give you guys some contrast so you can see what I'm doing. This is a stick of um, unsalted butter. Hey, Marcia, how are you? We're making Easter pie. So we've got our first layer of phyllo dough in the dish here, and I'm going to butter it all around. So I can already tell, even though I have the wet towel on it, it's getting a little brittle, which I don't want. So I am butter, butter, butter city around here and get it all around. Because the, the um, crust here is going to be six layers of phyllo dough. And then we'll put our filling that we just made in. That one, I think that's one. So here we go. Set that down. I'm letting it overlap on each side because I'm going to use those la um, layers to pull over the top when we're done and make the top of the pie. So go again on the butter. You guys ever worked with phyllo dough? Hey Lindy, how are you? Good afternoon. We are butter, butter, buttering the phyllo dough here out to the edge. We should butter the whole thing. I'm trying to go fast here. But we'll get some butter out here on the edges because ultimately these edges are going to be the top of our pie. Yummy! Okay, there we go. Let's go quick here. So what is everyone making for dessert for Easter tomorrow? Anyone have any other traditional things you're making? Well, I am buttering my phyllo dough here. Let's see which way we go last time. Here we go. This way. Into the dish we go. Hey Denise, how are you? We're making Easter pie. Are you guys joining? I've got the phyllo dough going here. We have made our filling, which I'll go over before we dump it in here. I think what layer am I on? Three? Is this three? And uh, butter it out here. Up to the sides. Oh my gosh, this is going to be yummy. Okay. Four. And this I thought would be something fun you can do with your kids. Our appetizer is going to be fun too, especially for kids. Okay, get a sheet going here. And get it laid down here. So we're going to lay down, uh-oh, rip that one. Good thing no one will notice. <laughs> so we, it is gorgeous here today. For those of us that are, you know, here in Ventura County, went on a hike today all up in Ojai. It was absolutely gorgeous and there were no really people out. We saw a couple of people on the trail. Of course everyone got properly distanced apart to pass on the trails uh, but it's just gorgeous out. So we went on a pretty strenuous hike this morning and 
made it back here to shower and get ready to make you some Easter pie. Yum! So is everyone getting out and getting your exercise? Sticking to your routine on exercise? Just so important. So this is five. We need six layers here and then we're going to put our filling in. Let me keep going here. Woo! Yummy. Okay. Oh my goodness. No wonder baklava is so good, right? <laughs> it probably has butter in all the layers too. Hey Nancy, how are you? Thanks for watching guys. This has been so much fun. I love seeing you all and getting to chat with you guys and make all these yummy things. Okay, sixth layer here. I will cover this back up because it is gets dries out so quick. Ah, see, I ripped it already. Here we go. Okay, sixth layer in the pan here. Uh, yeah, we went up, Marsha went up at the top. You can't park. They're not letting you park up by the Pratt Trail. So we had to park down, I don't know what the main road is there, but below signal um, before you turn up that last section of signal to go up the hill to park up there. We had to park down on that main street and then walk up. So we added, you know, probably a mile to our hike. Of course, that was the easiest uphill mile of the hike because it was paved. <laughs> But it was um, so fun and just gorgeous. So really, I'm not getting enough exercise to tell you the honest truth. So it was really good. For all my orange th theory peeps, Lenny told me to take my heart monitor and hook it up to the app so I would get my splat points, which I did. Got the heart monitor out and charged it up and took it up there. And then didn't realize you have to push start. Like when you start your workout to start, so I didn't get any points in my app, so I did the work, but it's not recorded. <laughs> but, you know, that's how you live, live and learn. Realize I need another dish here, so I'm going to move the Cuisinart down a little bit. So in the Cuisinart, for you guys that just joined, we have a 15-ounce container of whole milk ricotta cheese. We have the zest of an orange. We have three eggs, a teaspoon of vanilla extract, a teaspoon of almond extract, and I think that's it. Is that all we put in there, gang? <laughs> I think so. Oh, and three quarters of a cup of powdered sugar. Uh, plus a little bit more uh, we're going to use um, to sprinkle on top when we're done. So I'm going to put this filling in this dish here real quick and dump it in here. Oh my gosh, it smells so good. So hold on. Dump this thing in here. Wah! Okay. This is be a bit of a mess here. Oh, but it smells delicious. The almond extract and the orange zest, yummy. Basically like custard we got going on here. It smells delish. So let me get my, of course could have used a larger little spatula here. But this is going to be yummy. Okay, in the bowl. Check is our, I'm going to put this out of the way here and grab a bigger device than my little baby one here. So in our mix here of our eggs and ricotta cheese, push this out of the way so Instagram can see, I'm going to put a half a cup of cooked rice. There's a half a cup of rice in here. goes in. So half a cup of cooked rice. And then I have about um, a half a cup of uh, almonds. Slivered. Because it's what I have. Recipe calls for pine nuts. I'm not a pine nut lover is why I don't have any pine nuts. So I'm going to use these slivered almonds and dump those in. And then get them out of your way. You guys can see. And then we're going to stir this baby up, so with the rice and the almonds and our eggs and cheese. And get this all mixed up and we'll put it in our crust we just made. And then boom, it's ready to go in the oven. So oh my gosh, this just smells like heaven. So Easter pie, one Easter pie, check. 
I'm going to pour this in here. Here we go. Hey, Dad, how are you? We're making Easter pie with phyllo dough. So in our filling goes, oh my goodness, yum. And then we're just going to take our, and I thought most of these things people, you know, might have eggs, the ricotta cheese you probably don't have, that's easy, um, but that goes in. Okay, yum, smells awesome. So then we're going to take our phyllo here. And we are just going to pull it up here like a present and cover the top of our Easter pie and make it pretty if I can. Ooh, yum. Get my little pieces in here. So when this, I'm going to brush the top of this whole thing with more butter and it'll be ready to go in the oven. So I will bake that. Uh, bakes for about 30 minutes, is that what it says? Da, 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 da. Bake until the phyllo is golden brown about 35 minutes. So we are um, set there. Yum! So there we go. Easter pie. Check phyllo and just something fun. Yum. And I think it'll be so pr uh, pretty when you bring it out. So after it's done and it's cooled, I'll take some powdered sugar and just, you know, sprinkle it on top and make that. So because you can't refreeze phyllo dough once you thaw it out and you kind of have to thaw out the whole package to work with it, I thought, let's make an appetizer that I saw. So I'm going to pull out a sheet here and show you my appetizer idea and keep this covered as we work here. So I'm going to cut this sheet in half and make room here. Yikes! And let's see, it might be easier just to use the whole sheet. I don't think it'll be too much phyllo in our appetizer. So this was my idea on this, was to take our, I'm going to butter this a little bit, but I have some regular string cheese sticks that I already had because we have them in the fridge and I cut them in half. So here's half of a cheese, uh, cheese, you know, string cheese thing. So I'm going to put some butter on here. And then I was thinking of ways to jazz this up because the first um, recipe I saw didn't have anything in the phyllo dough with the cheese, but then you could use any kind of pizza sauce, tomato sauce, or anything like that to dip your cheese stick in once you cook it. Um, but then, so I'm just going to do one. And we're just going to roll this baby up like a burrito. Fold it in. Oh, probably going to need a little more butter on this roll up. Don't you love that when you just say, it needs more butter, more butter, more butter. <laughs> so we'll put more and wrap it up because the phyllo gets so dry. And then roll that baby up. And then, oh, we need to paint it on the outside a little bit. And there we go little phyllo appetizer. How cute is that? See, that's like a little egg, uh, egg roll, but then when you serve it on the platter, you have a little surprise of cheese inside that. So then I got to thinking that what if we put some other things in there with it, with the cheese? I'm running out of butter here, so I don't have to go light on the butter, but you get the idea. You have to keep the butter flowing. Was to take, like I have some, just some deli ham in the fridge so I'm like, let's take some deli ham. Oh, my sister said that's too much dough. Cut it in half uh, again. All right. Well, there's some ham I wrapped around the cheese. I'll cut it in half I, again. What if we roll it from the corner? Let's try, let's try that. So the inside this one is some ham and cheese. Yum. So I'll wrap that one up. And then... I had a thought. I make this yummy brie cheese, like a baked brie that everyone just loves. And in it, I put the apricot jam and sliced jalapeno or serrano. Um, but I don't have any of those things right now. So I thought, what if we made a sweet one and we took our cheese and put it in here. And all I have in my fridge was some strawberry jam and make a sweet one and put a little strawberry jam in there 
And then we have a sweet version of this. Um, I think I've actually seen at um, Trader Joe's, don't they have those, some kind of a thing like this that's frozen? So that kind of gave me the idea to try. Hey, Seal, how are you, girl? We just made Easter pie, which I'll show you in a sec. And right now we're making phyllo appetizers. So there's a sweet one that has the cheese and the strawberry jam inside that one. So there's three samples of things you can do with your phyllo dough and your um, string cheese sticks. I'll make a few more here when we're done with our live because um, we can't refreeze the phyllo dough. So let's use it up. Um, it is also today, I've had some people ask about you know, my drives to school with Rex and our what day it is. So today, for you, die, my diehard fans, it is cheese fondue day, it is pet day, submarine day, and eight track tape day. So just for you to know and celebrate those things today. How many of you had an eight track tape player besides me? I had one, I thought it was the coolest thing. The red box with the handle on the top and you pushed it down to switch tracks. Anyway, I'm dating myself. Hey Heather, how are you? And Sandy, hey girl, how's my Oklahoma contingent? So I have made Easter pie with phyllo dough and we made some phyllo dough appetizers with the mozzarella cheese sticks. Let me show you our pie. So we used the phyllo dough and made a ricotta cheese and egg and almond inside. You're gonna to have to go back and watch it. Um, and then I will do our drawing for today. And today's giveaway for our drawing, um, we I'm doing Easter lilies in honor of Easter. So today I have two beautiful Easter lilies that will be our giveaway for today. So here we go. If you have liked or commented on these videos near and far, your name is in the bowl. So likes and comments get you into my bowl. And I've given away all kinds of cool things on our prizes. It's been so fun. So today's winners are, get one, they all stick together in here. Oh, Constance, Constance Rare. She is a doctor and working hard at this time. Thank you for all you do. But Constance is our first winner today of an Easter lily. But she is still working here, front lines here in our community. And then, pull one out here, and we have Denise! Denise, I think you're watching! So Denise, you are the winner of our second um, lily today. So, oh my gosh, that's so awesome. So thank you guys all for watching. This has been so much fun, and I love doing our Easter sides all week. Um, we are going to maybe do teen meal week next week. It's our spring break, so Rex will be home, so maybe I can get him to help me do some teen meals we'll see maybe not um but tomorrow is easter and we will be here at three o'clock we'll see you here and we will be doing some fun things for easter so hope you guys are having a wonderful wonderful day um, it is just a gorgeous day here we are so blessed to live in such a beautiful place get to live here and work here and um, let other people come and live here <laughs> what we do so thank you for joining. We love you guys. Remember the only two things you can control are your effort and your attitude. So pick a great attitude and always give it 100%. And we will see you back here tomorrow on Easter Sunday celebrating the wonderful day of Easter. So great to see you. Thanks for watching and try the Easter pie and um, the phyllo appetizers. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. See you tomorrow.